many who saw Mike Welch play football at Sweetwater call him one of the best football players to ever come out of the big country in that era. It would be hard to argue with his accomplishments. Welch earned back-to-back All-State honors as a junior and senior at safety at Sweetwater in 1984 and 85. As a senior, he played running back and safety, leading the Mustangs to the Class 4A state championship. We read an article in the paper that said, uh, Cleburne's coach said, we're happy to be playing Sweetwater because they're so small and so much slower than the other teams we've been playing in. That was a motivational factor. And you don't have to be the biggest team in the world to kick somebody's tail. But on the ensuing kickoff, Sweetwater's Mike Welch stymied Westlake. He took the ball at his own end zone, raced up the middle, saw an opening, and wins the 100-yard dash for a 7-7 game. Bobby Bowes was blocking on the safety, and there wasn't really much else for me to do but run. Anybody could have run through the hole that was there. Trailing 10 to 7 in the second quarter, the Mustangs' best offensive play in the first half. Mike Welch battles for the pass, comes up with it all the way down to the Westlake one. On the very next play, Neil Hoover sneaks it in. It's said that it's not over until the fat lady sings. Well, Mustang head coach W.T. Stapler must have heard her humming somewhere in Eamon Carter Stadium before this game was over. It set in about 23 seconds before the game was over. It feels tremendous. I just can't describe the feeling. Uh, there's no other games. You know, we won the last one. We're the state yeah, champion. Play, you know, it's a tremendous feeling. Okay. Welch then went to Baylor, where he backed up Jim Thorpe Award winner Thomas Everett as a freshman in 1986. He started three of the next four years at Baylor, sitting out the 1988 season with a torn ACL ligament in his knee. He was named All-Southwest Conference and an academic All-American as a senior in 1990. Welch was part of the 1989 defense that is considered one of the best in Baylor history, holding teams to a Southwest Conference best 279.4 yards and 17.3 points per game. Welch is still receiving accolades for his playing career. In 2002, he was named to the Baylor Hall of Fame, and he was selected to the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. Then last year, Welch was named a second-team defensive back on Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine's 50th Anniversary High School Football Team, the only big country athlete named to the 50th anniversary squad that honored the state's top high school football players from 1960 through 2010. Interestingly, Welch's offensive coordinator when he was a sophomore at Sweetwater, Art Bryles, is now the head coach at Baylor. Bryles is a member of the Big Country Athletic Hall of Fame. So is Welch's head coach at Sweetwater, W.T. Stapler, uh, who helped lead that Mustang team to the state championship. And now the star of the Mustangs 1985 state championship squad, Mike Welch, is the newest member of the Big Country Athletic Hall of Fame. <laughs>